Hey guys, this is John. Another update from the Reykjavik Open. I played round six today. I had the white pieces against a Fide Master from Denmark, Mikkel Minosri Jacobsen. And he's been as high as 2370 Fide before, even though his rating now is only 2161. Uh, so, tough player, probably just had a string of bad results in recent years. He had defeated a WGM the round prior. So, I knew this wasn't going to be an easy game. So, I had the white pieces, as I was saying. It was a Slav, so facing one of my own openings. I had a pull out of the opening. I was pretty happy with the way the first 10 moves or so went. However, he chose this interesting plan that caught me completely off guard. Essentially, I had this knight centralized on e5. It was fortified by my pawns on d4 and f4, so it was nicely propped up. And I thought for sure he'd have to trade that knight or somehow work to neutralize it. But instead he just started playing around the knight and offering trades, including this very unusual trade on b5. And I spent a ton of time finding a way, or trying to find a way to punish his play. Because again, it caught me completely off guard. I felt like it was a little suspicious, even tactically. It seemed like I might have a tactical shot somewhere to punish him. But you guys will dis be disappointed to hear that I reverted to my poor time management ways by spending a lot of time looking for a way to, to really like find an edge that really didn't exist. So after 20 moves, I only had eight minutes left, which is just awful time management. I mean, I can't be doing that. He also didn't have a whole ton of time. He was ahead on the clock compared to me, but he started burning a lot of time too. So the... The second half of the first time control, because again, you get an extra 30 minutes at move 40, was a time scramble. And fortunately, I was able to find a way to keep some pressure. I was able to maintain this knight on e5 and also plan another knight on c5 that really gave him issues, propped up by some pawns. The computer says actually black's fine, if not better. But in the game, we both felt like I was the one who was pressing. So... Yeah, we got into this mutual time scramble as we neared time control, traded a bunch of pieces, then we got into a knight endgame with equal pawns. You guys know I've been losing some bishop endgames with equal pawns? Well, this time I got into a knight endgame, and I won this one, happy to report. Uh, so essentially what happened is we got into a situation where I had an outside A pawn, and he had play on the king side, but my outside A pawn was just a lot faster than his king side play. I ended up queening the pawn. He couldn't stop it. He had a pawn that was on the verge of queening, but I was able to go and attack some things, and he never had a good chance to queen because I was always threatening to win a huge amount of material if he does. So, pleased to get that victory, especially after the very poor time management uh, leading up to move 20. Just got to play faster. I mean, one thing I'm really, really trying to work on is uh, not overpressing against lower-rated players when there's no advantage. I think there's a lot to be said for just playing quick moves, even if they're just equal. The position is, you know, just level and you're recognizing that fact. But just continuing to play fast, just because the position is equal doesn't mean you're not going to have chances later or that the position is drawn, even if the computer is showing 0, .00, 0, .00 because it frequently does that even when there's a lot of play left in the position. So dodged a bullet here. Could have been worse. But tomorrow I will have the black pieces against the WGM. So not getting paired up. I think she's like 2270 or so, Nisha Mahota from India. This is again a must win game. Not so much for GM norm purposes, but just to have a good tournament. I, I think I'm losing like maybe one rating point at the moment. So I'd really, really like to win this game with black. That would set me up nicely for the remaining two rounds. And I can go on a little run, hopefully. So I'll update you guys. Going to focus a lot on time management because i got to rein it in from today's game. Thank you guys again for the support. Uh, it's been awesome here in Reykjavik, really having a good time. By the way, those of you who are tournament players, you might identify with this. This is, it has nothing to do with the game. But I had a song stuck in my head the entire game here. Uh, so I guess it does have something to get, do with the game. It was R.E.M. Man on the Moon. And I don't know why this song was stuck in my head, but I just thought I'd mention it because it's kind of a quirk of playing tournament chess. I feel like this happens to a lot of people. I know Eric Hansen has even tweeted about this. He got uh, Despacito, that Justin Bieber song stuck in his head. <laughs> I had R.E.M. Man on the Moon, which is weird because I don't even like R.E.M. that much. And I don't think I've heard that song for ages, but it just popped into my head and just kept playing on a loop. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'll update you guys again tomorrow. Important game round seven. Hope you guys are doing well. Had a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.